Hey, we back, baby. What's going on? It's your boy, TB. Welcome back to another video. Appreciate everybody rocking with me. All the new subscribers. Welcome welcome to the party, man. Real Talk, Pill Talk. Grab a drink, sit down. If you need to use the bathroom, just uh, do a complimentary flush if you're number two. Y'all already know the vibes. And wash your hands, please. It's hand sanitizer out here, but ain't nothing better than soap and water. Uh, I need four things from y'all. Be respectful in the comment section. We can agree to disagree, go back and forth. We can have fun, but y'all love up on one another. All right, we can have fun. It's a good discussion down there. Uh, state your opinion in a respectful manner. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. I need y'all to go check out the, my latest episode of the podcast after this, uh, Real Talk, Pill Talk podcast, episode 49 out. Hilarious, dope episode. And if you're in the web series, check out my web series. Six episodes. It's called The Buried Web Series on my main channel. Six episodes. Thriller, suspense, mystery, sex. You like sex. Come on, stop playing. Who we kidding? You like that. I see it in your eyes. Why are you smiling? Let's get into the video, man. Oh, what that is? A maxi, that's a maxi dress? That's a, some waist beads on? Let's have fun with it. Slim maxi dress. <laughs> Looking good though. My bench pressure from the hood, bro. She got the necklace on. Looking sexy with it. She waving at me. Don't make me come and touch you with it. She got the honey mustard on. Yeah, yeah, yo. She looking like Juju from USC, though. She a ball player rocking a damn crop top. She got that red on her lips and on her dress, yeah. Green. I'm on the green, green team, yeah. Green, looking real, real me. I switched up, now your boy on the blue team. Look at them yams looking at me, looking delicious. Oh, looking like Faith Evans, I'm in love, yeah. You fluff the hair, come and give your boy a hug, yeah. We got the host with the most back up in here, yeah, yeah. She got that pink on, looking like a Disney princess, whoo. Yeah, she got that leg out, yes, leg kicked out, looking like a whole damn kickstand. Worst candy ball is that damn honey grand. That shit be well, everyone. That's that damn honey grand be nasty, don't it? That shit got that damn. I don't know what's nasty though. Honey grand, the three musketeers, or that damn butterfinger. The Butterfinger only only survived because of uh, The Simpsons. That's the only reason why that bitch. What are we talking about right now? Let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. Let me first say this is the most top tier lineup I have seen. When the views are up, the baddies come out. You know what they say? The freaks come out at night. The baddies come out when the views come out. Look at everybody came dressed proper. This ain't the angle Funny, I want. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all know what angle it's I want. Host Arlette, and we are back with another episode yeah. of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. That's what's up. And this time around, we've got the ladies like. That's the angle I want. This is my angle. Now, now, now. Everybody looking good. Bro, I ain't going to sit up here and hate. You know what I mean? Everybody doing their own thing, man. I ain't you know everybody. <laughs> the only thing looking dusty is the balloons. I ain't even gonna hold you. People looking moisturized. The shoes, the shoes. This, this, this you know, y'all know. I already know. I'm not a fan of an all black outfit. You know what I'm saying? That's not. That's not my my biggest joint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but everybody, y'all doing y'all thing. Y'all like the outfit. If I had to give uh, the top, my top three fits is I I like Juju. Juju right here. I like I like the slim maxi dress. It's simple, but I like it. Uh, you you trying to push the envelope right here. And these two are similar, but I like them both. I like the slit. I like the crossover. Crossover ain't nothing but a, a double cross. Uh, comment comment in the comment section if you know what movie that came from. And then the red look good too. But you got the prom the prom homecoming heels on. Let's get into it though, man. Let's 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 get to know these ladies. Coming to the stage. Yeah, make some noise, ladies. <laughs> All right. Everybody bright. They got colors on. Damn. This, this shit getting good. Y'all sound ready. That's good. That's good. So we're about to bring out some single men. They're going to come out one by one. When they come out, if he's your type, you're feeling him, you like what he's saying, all that good stuff, do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything that he said that you're like, ooh, red flag, mm -mm, this guy's not for me, go ahead mm. and pop it. Then I'll go over to um, a few of you and see what's going on and why you ended up popping. Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our first. Hold on, y'all. God damn, wait a minute. One thing my mama always told me is, uh, don't be ashy. The three things. Don't be ashy. 
Don't have chapped lips and make sure your ears clean. My, my lips wasn't lipping. So shit, we one, one thing about it, two things for sure, we're going to be moisturized. Single guy. Hello, welcome in. God uh. damn. That shit sounded like. Ooh, it came out with these little ass penny loafers on. You came out with these little ass lemon pepper stepper. Ain't got no more pepper on them steppers. Hey, let me get let me get that balloon pop one more time. Go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Oh, uh, my name is Shit. Them, hey, them balloon pops had recoil on them hoes. Pop, 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 pop. Shit. Theophilus Macy? Theophilus? Yeah. Okay, and Theophilus, how old are you? I'm 29. 29, and what do you do? Um, I'm a chef. I create artworks and sell it to, and I also make beats and stuff. Oh, okay, nice, nice. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Well, mostly respect and somebody who's more like traditional okay and stuff like that because for me i'm mostly raised like a traditional man but mm -hmm. traveling around that's what i always look for in a lady okay all right so we did get some pop balloons let's go over why they pop my doll like that to some of these ladies and see what's going on over there oh, okay for sure <laughs> all right if we can have your name and age my name is heaven i'm 25 okay. and heaven what do you do so I'm a designer, uh, I do digital marketing, and I also am a part-time nurse assistant. Okay, all right, and now, Heaven, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I'm not intrigued. Okay. I don't want to, you know. God okay. damn. Now what uh, is causing What you mean you ain't, <laughs> ain't going to pop the shit off with? I'm not, a, I'm not, he doesn't move me. God damn. You need to not be intrigued. I'm just not. I don't want to go, like, any further. Man, you going further. Arlette, you know how you, know how you do. Sure. But well, that's respectful. I I admit that. You look beautiful. Thank you. And yeah, I respect that too. Mm -hmm. Arlette, don't let her off the hook, Arlette. Thank you. Nah, hell no! Come on! You know what you signed up for! You don't want to go further, stay home! And the closer I look to this outfit, the more it look like a pamper hanging out your shit. You got to over the pamper is too big for you. You got a 4T pamper on and you 2T! Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29. All right. And Ashley, what do you do? I am a model and model coach. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just wasn't, it just didn't immediately grab my attention. Okay. That's all. It wasn't really nothing deep. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. You look good, too. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. And now, is Ashley someone that's your usual type? Oh, uh, yeah, she's not bad, you know. Mm -hmm. She's sizable, I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. I appreciate it. <laughs> sizable. Okay, if we can have your name and age. I'm Leah, I'm 28. And Leah, what do you do? I'm a labor and delivery registered nurse. Okay. All right. And That's now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I like to be obsessed with my man, and it's not giving obsessed. Mm. Hey, come on with that weird shit to pop the damn shit out. Ain't nobody got no time to be obsessed. You just mess them up. I like to be obsessed with them. Come on, man. Okay. Yes. What is it giving? Um, not for me, but for somebody else. <laughs> I respect that. You know, sometimes being obsessed leads to toxicity. So yeah, I understand yeah, facts, that too. Facts. But I yeah. don't want nobody but she's, obsessed she's with me. She's good looking. Me. And I, hey, don't be obsessed with me, baby. <laughs> be obsessed with the Lord. <laughs> be obsessed with the Word. <laughs> be obsessed with the the gym. <laughs> be obsessed with uh, I don't know, yeah, self care or some shit. I don't know. Like a swag. She's okay, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, if we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Sincere. I'm 27. All right, and Sincere, what do you do? Why you climb up on it with this loose ass fit? It ain't looked that loose in the intro, but all this extra access space right here. Look like you're wearing a, a deflated balloon. Like all this extra just, just fluttery. Like it just, is, was it on a hanger? Was, this wasn't supposed to be. The fuck is this, man? What is this? What kind of material is it? What is this? Velvet? Um, I work in finance and banking. Nice. Okay. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? He has great energy. I just believe in love at first sight and I wasn't in love. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> was energy? there something like that, yeah. that was making you say it's not love at first sight? 
I just know, you know. Okay. When you know, you know. <laughs> I I expect it. I like that too. And with the great energy part, yeah, yeah. my energy be hitting the roof. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, good. I like that too. Okay, thank you. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. Uh, my name is Alexis. I am 29. Okay, Alexis, what do you do? Um, I work in the finance industry. Okay. However. <clears throat> so why did you end up popping your balloon? He has like cool vibes, but I'm just not um attracted to you. I'm not attracted to you. Okay. Respect that. You got a you got a nice beautiful vibe to it as well. Thank so you. yeah. Mm-hmm. Respectfully. And now is there anything in particular that you're not attracted to? Mm. You know, because I don't like to discriminate, if you will, but like, you know, a little short. Oh little yeah. Shorter. But it's not even just that. It's just like I- Yo, what the fuck, man? This camera guy is lethal. The fact that you panned you know he's short already, but you still panned him. You ain't had to pan this man. Particular Look that at this you're not attracted to. Mm. You know, because I don't like to discriminate, if you will, but like, you know, a little short. Oh, little yeah. Shorter. But it's not even just that. It's just like, I need to like feel it like the aura, like gravitate towards you. I'm not gravitating, okay. unfortunately. All right. <laughs> so is she your that. type? Oh, she might. Yeah, yes. she is. Oh. I I like tall ladies. Okay. You know. But I understand when it comes to the height preference. Mm-hmm. I expect that too it's as not well. Much preferred, you know? yeah. I've done it before, but just I'm sure King's been getting turned down their whole life, bro. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if we can have your name and age. Angel twenty three. And Angel, what do you do? Um, I'm in the Air Force. Okay. All right. Shout and now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um me personally I just don't like dreads. I don't like like the like I don't know if somebody if somebody don't like somebody that got locks, just say you don't like somebody that got locks. When you say you don't like when you say you don't like somebody's hairstyle and then call them dreads on top of that, I be feeling a little way, especially somebody that's locked up. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like men with locks. I like more of a nicer, neater look, like a brush cut. You know what I'm saying? Say that. You know, it's it's, it's, it's that's wild out there. You know, that's the that's the equivalent of him getting up there and say, you know, I don't like nah, why you turn away. I don't do all that weave. Everybody will be appalled. <gasps> oh no, I don't like bald headed girls. I don't like I feel like she's gonna steal my do rags. Everybody will be <gasps> clutch pearls. Oh my god. I can't believe he said that. Those are dreads, right? Hell yeah. Oh well. I'm surprised. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't like dreads. And then it's weird too, because another girl up there, I think she locked up too. I think the second one. And and I like someone a little taller than me. I'm five five with high heels. So. Uh I respect the high side, but with- she don't like dress. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Nothing's we, wrong with we, you. I we ain't got no wave. We are not in the wave ever no more. I did waves. I did braids, and now I'm doing dress. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I like that. You know, it's okay. I respect that too. Yeah. You know. Okay. Now, how tall are you? Me? I want to say. Ain't gonna say me. <laughs> who the fuck is he? Who else you talking to, cuz? Five six. Okay. Yeah. I'm five five six five. is tough though. Yeah, I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's well, go on over you, here. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. My name is Alexis, and I'm 29. Alexis, what do you do? Uh, I'm a massage therapist. Okay, and now why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, so I love your aura. I love your vibe. Uh, I just, I like my men a little bit taller. Okay. So nothing personal. I love your, I love it. I love your aura. All right, and now is Alexis your type? Yes, she is. Okay, what makes her your type? Well, she got a beautiful smile. She's nice. She got swag. And I like my woman that can represent me when I step out because I like to look good. Mm-hmm. But the high stuff, this is what I can say. I didn't ask God to create me. Yeah. I came the way I came. <laughs> but, you know, I still make the best of what I can make with. But I respect that too. Man, respect this man, dog. Damn, dog, give you a dab. I dab give you a hug right now, bro. I feel no ditty, bro. But y'all got to chill out, man. He can't. He has no control over that. None. She is decent, okay. and all the ladies look good, and I take your points of view right. really serious. Cool. But I like Respect, that man. Thank you. He's so respectful. Okay, so we do have an unpopped balloon back we got a, here. We got a Terrence 2.0. <laughs> all right, if we can have Juju. your name and age. My name is Sierra Harris, but I go by Sakari, um, and I'm 30 years old. Okay. And Sakari, what do you do? I am a travel nurse, and I also Fuck. am a brand ambassador for holistic wellness. Uh, and now we God damn Sakari, what do you do? I am a travel nurse and I also am a brand ambassador for holistic wellness. 
nice. Okay. And now we see your balloon is still unpopped. So I'm not gonna say nothing about the nurses because y'all was on my head. I don't like that. All the fellas, when I said something about the truck drivers, y'all was giving me hell. What's wrong with truck drivers? What's wrong with truck drivers? Now I can say something about nurses and flight attendants. Y'all was like, yeah, I agree, I agree. But as soon as I said. I, I can't say none, but y'all already know how I feel. Go back to the other joints. What is intriguing you? Why is your balloon still in pop? Well, initially, just based off looks, like you're not necessarily like a type for me. Hold on, fam. What you got in your hands right now? What the hell going on? So, Juju, what is intriguing? Look at Juju's hands right now. Look, it's something going on. Is it? Is it dust? Why is your balloon still in pop? Well, initially, look. just based off looks, like you're not necessarily. What's this all about? Y'all see this shit? Right there? Is that the balloon dust? Is the balloon doing that? You like. What is this? Ew, what is that? She got mold on her hands. Me, but I like the fact that you said that you were a chef. And I just like your overall like energy. Oh. So... <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to probably, like, you know, ask you a couple more questions and see okay. where it goes. Oh, yeah, I'm intrigued. You can ask me. I'll That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can ask me everything. And I really like that you kept your balloon, and I really like the point that it's not all about the looks, but more, like, the personality-wise. And I feel like maybe you getting to know me more will show you that regardless of the height, I can be more than anything else. Man, this nigga spitting right now. Let him cook. So I'm Maybe. open for the answer. <laughs> so you said you had some questions for him. You want to start off with the first question? Sure. So um, you say you're a chef. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a foodie. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so what are um, your favorite things to cook? So like for me, um, I was born in Liberia. I'm African, but I'm also British from my mom's side. I can cook anything, but I like my jollof rice. And mm -hmm. I know the Ghanaians be saying they like jollof. The best jollof is from Liberia, and we make it lit. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, I can cook anything. Give me the recipe, and I'll prepare it straight up. Okay, okay. Um, now all the hungry ass up there talking about something. Ooh. Well, she thinking right now, like, damn. I'm tired of eating pizza. I'm plant-based, so how do you feel about... Um, I guess vegan life. Baby, I got plants in the backyard, baby. I tried vegan before. So when it comes oh, to vegan, good. I'm plant based. So how do you feel about, um, I guess, vegan life? Oh, we can adjust to that. I tried vegan before. So when it comes to vegan, yeah, I can. Short kings be adjustable. Vegan, vegan recipe, I will prepare it exactly the way you like it. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Do you do you have any questions for her? Um. Not really. Oh. I think if, if I have any other questions, it'll be something that we get to know personally and I can ask. Because right now, she's a beautiful lady, uh -huh. and I can see that she want to explore more, uh -huh. and I'm willing to go there and venture more with her. Yeah. So, let, me, let me bring you on out here. I'm going to have the power. Oh! Okay, oh, it. Oh! oh, my God. Damn. Damn. Look at Arlette face, bruh. <laughs> Look at Arlette face, bruh. She ain't had to do that boy like that. <laughs> they was almost out there, but this is what happens, right? So it'd be, a, it'd be a guy like this, and then they think that there's something better in the back. The weight and the weight. Watch, let's see how this plays out for her. She thinks that it's something better in the back. She's like, I just got on the show. I don't want to dip out that quick. Let's see what, let's see how this shit play out. Um, it's just the... I mean, I'm just not just what sees the eye. Mm. So you asking me questions and me getting to know you is how I'm going to connect with you. He wanted to do that shit on the first date. That's what he meant. He was like, damn, if I got anything to ask you, you know, if I'm asking you on that date, like, I'm, I'm ready to get I'm ready to get moving. So for you to just not ask me anything and just go based off looks, it just. No, it's not ba being based off looks. It's just like right now in the moment. Like the the questions to pop out is like it doesn't just really happen spontaneously. I just feel like within like if we sit down and have questions, uh, sit down to talk to each other more. I feel like that that's when the question can come in. But in this time of right now, it's like there's like a thousand questions, but I don't know which one to pick. It's like you're one in a billion, but then what type of question am I able to present to you? But I respect that, regardless if you pop the balloon or not. But I understand if you want to still try to taste that jollof, hey. <laughs> I can still make that happen. 
Well, I respect that too as well. Oh man, okay, you were so close. I know. <laughs> that, that's how life goes. <laughs> That's 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 how life goes. Outlook, you know, man. There's there's situations sometimes you meet people in life mm -hmm. and you don't know the questions to ask because you are scared to ask the wrong questions. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes you want to you know take the time like a little time to marinate mm -hmm. and then be able to get okay. that question up. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. All right. Well. well you are beautiful all ladies <laughs> and nice. Hopefully you guys found what you're looking for. Yeah. You know maybe down the line someday you may see me and you get a taste. There's <laughs> jollof rice and stuff like that. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. Thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, give yeah, it up yeah. for him, ladies. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Round two. Fight. Hello. Welcome in. Hey. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Marvin. Marvin, how old are you? Marvin came out with no pops. Let's go. 30 years old. 30. Okay. And what do you do? So I'm in the Air Force, I am an image consultant, and I also do personal training. Okay, all right. You're yeah. a uh oh, he a gym guy. He training, he training, him. trainers be training. Busy man. And now what do you look for in a woman? Um, I mean, similar things like, I like a woman that is also in shape, that likes to value that. Um, has a good head on the shoulders. I know it's kind of vague, but mm -hmm. you know, I feel like I kind of sense that vibe rather than like put into words. Okay, all right. Okay, and what do you like to do for fun? Um, I mean, aside from working out, I like going outdoors. I like hiking. I like traveling, mm -hmm. shopping. Because okay. I'm an image consultant, so I mean, that's just something that I do. In All my right. Spare time. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so Marvin, as we see here, there are no balloons popped. I just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the premise of the show for a second. Yeah, <laughs> so now what's going to happen is I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. Oh! Thank you. I'm gonna have you hold that. So for the first round, I know it's gonna be a little bit tough, but we're just gonna have you pop two balloons Damn. strictly two. based off of looks. Damn. So you can go ahead and pop those two, and then I'll go ahead and ask you, you know, off of their look, what made you pop? Uh, Damn. <laughs> um, my apologies. Okay, and one more. Uh, my apologies. Okay, so let's start right here. Damn. We can have your name and age. My name is Sinceri. I'm 27. Okay, and let me have you stand right oh, here. Oh, my bad. There you go. You're good. <laughs> and um, Marvin, why did you end up <laughs> popping her balloon? <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, if I'm being shallow, it was the outfit. That's really all it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> we match, though. We do match. Nah, man, that shit is... I'm, I'm not saying that's not nice. We could go out like now. We're not going out with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, Marvin. Okay, and now why did you leave your balloon? The shades got fingerprints on them and shit. This shit is crazy work, man. Been unpopped for Marvin. He's in the Air Force. He likes to travel. I was going to ask him if he had his passport and where he has been, but that's yeah, okay. Passport. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go on to our next one over here. If we can have your name and age. Angel 23. Okay. And now Marvin. Marvin, step back. Marvin. Man, damn, Air Force General. Damn, salute your shorts. Lieutenant Dan, step back, man. You don't know me like that. Stop popping Angel's balloon. Um, this is crucial. I don't know. Just he said the wrong thing. Other people popping. Not my type, mm. honestly. What makes her not your type? In, in, yeah. in what way? What makes her not your type? Um... I guess, yeah, just didn't catch my attention, but I don't mean that in like any kind of crazy way. Just didn't catch my attention. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. And now, Angel, why did That was safe. That was safe. Did you leave your balloon unpopped for Marvin? He didn't, he didn't pop. I ain't gonna say that either. Because I'm in the Air Force, too. Man, hell no, I'm saying that shit. He didn't pop the two dark skinned ladies on there now. The darker, the darker, the complex, he popped there. The, it was a pop pop. Come on now. Really? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Small what? world out here, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. okay. All right. So, we do have a few ladies still left. Hey, you pop my balloon. To go ahead and you pop my balloon. I'm going to sit down. I ain't standing up here while you talk to other people. You already pop my balloon. I'm going to sit down somewhere. And help you narrow it down? Uh, yeah, actually. Okay. Knock that boy um, back to the camera. Do you guys have children? Okay. Oh so shit! Y'all got kids. Y'all been hunting. You out there hunting? 
Who's rockin' knockin' 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 boots all night long? Oh, oh. Make love to them. Make a sound. Oh, come on. That's one kid. And two, she got three fingers up. She, this right, oh, that's three kids? I know that ain't a three piece. No biscuit. Number of children you have? Okay. Two now, children. two piece. Is that a deal breaker for you? Two kids. It is. It is? Okay. God! My dog say, I don't got no kids. I ain't date nobody with no kids. You don't never really see men be tripping on a kid, but he said he not doing no baby daddy drama. <laughs> oh, Why y'all out here? What happened? I be like, what happened? <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and go over to some of those ladies. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. My name is Sierra Karras, but I go by Sakari. I'm, I'm 30 years old. Okay. okay. And Sakari, why did you leave your balloon on pop for Marvin? Um, he seems pretty well-rounded, um, so I just gave it a shot. Okay. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29. Okay. And Ashley, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Marvin? Well, definitely very polished. He said he was an image consultant. He likes to shop. I model. Mm -hmm. It just kind of fit that way. But also intellectually, I feel like he has a good head on his shoulders, and that's something I'm kind of focusing on. Mm -hmm. um, but I ended up popping because still break girls, kids, yeah. and mm -hmm. I do have children. So mm -hmm. fair enough. Children. <laughs> You're beautiful though. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. My name is Leah. I'm 28 years old. All right. And Leah, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? He's very handsome. Uh. I love his teeth. I love, I'm a teeth person. Uh. He has nice lips as well. Ooh. He's very fit. She ready to go, guys. She's ready to go. Hey, get her out of the oven. Don't want, we don't want her overcooked. <laughs> She's ready to go. Nice Nice teeth is one thing. Okay, this is my nice lips is another thing. If somebody tell you, you got nice lips, they even think about kissing on you or your lips on them some kind of way. I'm letting y'all know right now. Them the two. Oh my God, you got a nice smile. You got oh you got nice lips. You know what I'm saying? They, they hit you with that, or they, or, or they hit you with like, damn, why your lips so soft? This already, it's already at your lips. Then been on you. They kiss the shoulder, or neck, or a cheek, or a forehead kiss. Forehead kiss. That's that. Finish him or finish her. Pa, no diddy, no diddy. Excuse me, my type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And now, is she your type? I know you said the kids are the deal breaker, though, but. Yeah. Okay. All right, girl. Damn. Oh, y'all was out there raw dogging. Here. Okay. If we. Oh, y'all was out there raw dogging. Yes, Alexis. I'm 29. All right. And Alexis, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? Because he's a good-looking gentleman. He seems like he has his head on it, um, his shoulders. That's and, where it go. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. And now, Marvin, is she your type as well? Yeah. Okay. I love the dress. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we do still have two Dang. balloons unpopped. Did you have another question that you wanted to ask the ladies to help us narrow it down? Do you smoke? Ooh. Okay, let's go over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Heaven. I'm 25. Okay. And Heaven, his question was, do you smoke? No. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. And then let's go down over here. She smoke. She gonna be like, if we can have I your smoke name a little age. weed. <laughs> I'm like, hello. Alexis, I'm 25. A little Mary Jane. Okay. And Alexis, to answer his question, do you smoke? No. I have I before, yes, but do I know? Okay. Cool. Cool, man. All right. Ladies, do you guys have a question for him? Come on now. All right. So, like, what's a few, like, important, your most important characteristics that you look for in a woman? I would say level-headed. So, you know how to have a conversation. You don't jump to conclusions. You're able to actually have, um, like, if we have disagreements, we can actually go over those disagreements mm -hmm. and not just be at each other's throat. I think that's a big thing. I'm a very big communication person. So, I would say that's number one. Okay. Yeah. Give us some more. Perfect. That was perfect. Okay. Oh. I mean, communication is key. But you no, know, I would say like communication and comprehension, though, because a person can communicate with you and not understand you. So you have to be able to understand and communicate. But. See. And, and and all discussions and even in communication and arguments in a relationship, guys, you're we're human beings. You're not always gonna see eye to eye. But the but the the ability to take yourself out of yourself and really look at the the discussion or the disagreement or whatever it is and be like, okay, I see where you're coming from. Okay, this is where I'm coming from. Or even just to be able to agree to disagree 
and not have any like built up anger or feel some type of way. That is huge. Some people just act like they they cool and they move on and they that shit just sit on them. It's boiling, 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 and then boom. You know what? I'm still bothered from that shit that happened two years ago. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's go down over here. We'll be back for you, girl. Do you have a question for Marvin? <laughs> What's your relationship with God? Um, I do not have a relationship with God. I would say that because I mean, are you Christian? I'm assuming yes. or you are Christian. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm not Christian, but I do explore different religions, but I'm not attached to one. He about to get That's popped. Like, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I took your toothpick, didn't I? <laughs> Okay, and now why did we end up popping? That's very important to me. That's there, up okay. there. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. I respect I it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go down over here. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> All right, Alexis. I heard you say a little something when he said he doesn't have a relationship with God. Is that something that's a problem for you? It's very important because, like, he's the one who leads the way. But I will say, though, like, I can't make you believe in God like that has to be like you have to find him on your own but like having the conversations eventually if it happens you know it'll probably work if not you know I can't like force you to have a relationship that's between you and God Mm -hmm. but it's important okay is it a deal breaker for you I would kind of I would want to know like so what do you believe in like what are you an atheist did you ever believe in God how did you get to this point like how did you believe, just just be like out here free? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's what's going on when you have trouble? Do you meditate? Do you, do you pray to somebody? Like, what do you do during tough times? Do you think the world is just the world magically? You know what I'm saying? Do you like what I got? I got to go and figure this out more, Dell. Like, what's going on? Where? Why is your mind? How's that? How has that worked in your previous relationships? Have you dated a Christian woman or a Catholic woman or any, like someone that is religious before? How did that work in your relationship? Oh Jesus! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> only, only just because. <sighs> hey, you gotta stick to you gotta stick to your roots, right? baby. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You almost made it. All right. <laughs> It's all good. So you said you it's explore. What what does that mean? Good job, um, Arlette. So like this month, for instance, so right now Ramadan's being celebrated. Um, mm-hmm. And so that's something that I've been looking into because I do like the idea of fasting from different things that um, just aren't good for you, you know? Mm-hmm. So I don't necessarily have an attachment to any religion. If it has something that I guess... Uh, Resonates? That I vibe with, then uh, resonates. I'll do it. Yeah, but but buddy trying to put together his own religion. He trying to take bits and pieces of each religion and put that shit together and make it something, uh, something. What I'm gonna do? Take a little bit of this, take a little bit of that. You know, so you're not like against it, if you will. I will say with Christianity. So I grew up Christian. Mm-hmm. All right. I went to a Catholic school. All right. Really rough for me. So I think it's kind of like a childhood trauma thing, so that's why i'm not really gravitating towards christianity because as a kid it was just rough you know well you know what me popping a balloon that probably was my fault because i probably should have engaged more mm. um Sorry. because my father's side like majority is muslim okay and they're going through ramadan right now i've actually like studied it and i have a quran as well but you could have taught me you know to touch a little residence <laughs> but you know me. get your balloon back baby get your balloon back and, and, and a lot of y'all don't realize like church people some of the most judgmental people in the world bro Judgmental. That, they're supposed to be Christians. Supposed to be some of the most welcoming. Bring people in. Bring people to the church. We don't judge them. Jesus hang, hung out with the the worst, the sinner, the the most sinner of sinners. You know what I'm saying? But they are some of the most judgmental. And a lot of times in the past, even dealing with like people that are heavily into the church. I'm Christian. Um, like they use the Bible like when it works for them. Like even in the relationships, like they be like like now you want to bring the Bible out when it's like. When I'm doing something, why are you doing this? You supposed to be Christian, and you doing it? Wait a minute, oh, ain't no sin greater than another. Now you didn't been out here sinning too. Now, <laughs> just because it's in a different way, come on, don't do me like that. Now, gee, don't be weaponizing the Lord. <laughs> don't be weapon weaponizing Jesus for real. I, I, I talk to Jesus all the time. I said, Jesus, I can't believe my 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 number one question for Jesus. I said, Jesus, come on now, Jesus, how you let slavery go down like that all them years? Now, come on now, come on now, come on now. I know you seen this. I know you've seen the ancestors hurting. Jeez, you going to let us slide like that? It's, it's not over. 
<laughs> but I just I just want to you know make sure that like, you you have to understand that he is the way and the only way. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay. So with him being open minded to that, is that still something that's a deal breaker for you? I think we can have an open conversation. Oh. Hey. Are we getting that balloon back? Hey. Can give me a balloon back. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many balloons they got on deck. Let me bring you up here. Let's come up Go here. Go up front. I don't want nobody ah. getting offended by, by it. Don't get, just don't get offended. Damn, it's a YouTube video, man. I don't want to hear all that crying. Right I said something about R. Kelly music last time. And everybody <laughs> lost their shit. God, dang. All right. So Marvin says she is open-minded to it. Did you all have any final questions for one another before we determine if this is a yes? I think I'm willing to you know, get to them a little bit. Okay. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? I would say he earned a yes. Okay. Yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a match. <laughs> My thing, he don't really show much emotion. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't really see no smile, no happiness, or no goofiness, no personality. He seems like level-headed, gray head on his shoulders, straightforward, a hard worker, determined, knows what he wants, can express that clearly. But I, I don't really, see, I don't see, I ain't see no funness to him. I know he on the game show and they just standing there. But like, she keep in, she's smiling, look at him. Yeah, this shit cool. You know what I'm saying? We matched or whatever. Come on, man. Let's go to the back. Get a workout in. Like, you know what I'm saying? All right. I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on up. Throw your arm out for the hook. Throw your arm out for the hook. See y'all later. Throw your arm out for the hook. Nah, that shit whack. He could have hooked. He could have threw the arm off, and she could have hooked the arm. Or at least let her walk first. I'm a hater. (laughs) All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Have you take this? Oh, Welcome in. What's your shit. name? My name is Maurice. Maurice? Yeah, but I go by poet. By poet? Yeah. Okay, how old are you? 25. 25, and what do you do? Yo, they ain't pop yet. My dog came through with the two bit braids. I thought this was, was with the little Spanish kid from AMP. You know what I'm saying? He came through with that, that, that big pun fat Joe swag, and he got the dangling earring with a seashell on that hoop. I don't know what he got, a loop-de-loop, and put a, a, a beach shell right there. Let's And a pinky ring. Let's get it. Yeah, what that is, fur? I like that. Uh, I make music full-time. I'm a model. I also do videography. Mm-hmm. And I also, what is it called? I do traveling full-time, too. Okay, all right. And now, Poet, what do you look for in a woman? Um, My dog got overalls on. I ain't even know them hoes is overalls. You thick too, man. You thick. A little Eminem ass. You thick, man. Someone that is adventurous. I like um, a person who's intelligent that understands what they want. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone that has a connection with God. Um, who's into traveling. Someone who's, matter of fact, that actually really has a purpose too. Okay. That actually cares about life as well. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good so answer. we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. Let me on. see what this wall looking like. <laughs> okay, smooth with it. All right. Hello, if we can have your name and age. Yes, Alexis. I'm 29. All right, Alexis. Why did you end up popping your balloon? You know, you're a very handsome gentleman. I love the fit. I love your energy as well. Um, just physically, not my type. Oh, okay. Oh, right. and physically, um, what is your usual type, and what is what does he fall into? Um, athletic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and now <laughs> she said, "I got." He said, I'm, "I got the big boy dad by going dad by, and the big boys be winning too, though." Is Alex put that damn lanyard up, babe? Damn. Is this your type? Um, I I don't, I don't really know to be honest. Like I. I mostly go with energy, so. Um, but the athletic thing, no, I am athletic. I've done, I did three different type of sports. And I- yeah, but you ain't doing that shit right now, bro. You, 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 let me, let me show you my high school highlight tape shit. What, what, what have you done for me lately? You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing nothing right now, man. If I had you bear crawl back and forth ten yards, you'd blow a gasket. Whole hamstring would fall off the bone. You feel me? Come on now. That's cool. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I like that. 
Okay. It's still a note. <laughs> Dang. Right, I like that. All right. Okay, thank you. Mm. Let's go on down over here. We did get a popped balloon. All right, with the back pedal. Okay, you free safety. your name and age. My name is Heaven. I'm 25. And Heaven, why did you end up popping your balloon? You're very well spoken. You are mm. attractive. It's just I don't feel like we would be a connection. Okay. And what makes Man, what the more I see this right here, I try to figure out what this is, man. You could probably look like a little pouch or something. Kangaroo pouch is a is it a a, a a 360 fanny pack? What is this fluff right here? What you do? What you gonna do with this? She so feel that way. Attention. Sorry, just off of based off of just attraction level okay. and things like that. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And now, poet, is she your type? Uh, respectfully, no. Okay, and why not? Um. Oh, my fault. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I guess, just a tiny bit too much makeup. Ah. You just come as you are, then that's perfect. Yes. I was going to say that, but I, I don't want y'all hating on me. Because she said, oh, just attraction, like, woo -woo -woo. a lot of these women be like, oh, the face. Yo, yo you painted on your whole face, yo. It's thick on there. That's damn near birthday uh, prom homecoming makeup right there. It's on there. You can see, like, even right here. Is the nose is a different color right here. This is a different color. It's just a different color all around. You are good enough. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we do still have five balloons unpopped. Thanks. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So I'm going to have you hold this. Wow. And <laughs> did you have a question for the ladies to help you narrow it down? <sighs> Dang, hold up. Um... What is like a purpose that you have inside of your life? What do you want to do? All right, let's start right over here. If we can have your name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Sakari, I'm 30. Um, a purpose, I mean, I feel like that's a good question. Oh shit, she buying time. <laughs> to inspire others, to touch others in some sort of way. I think my purpose here in life is literally to make someone else's life better, it advance more, just, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Name and age and the answer to this question. My name is Ashley, I'm 29. And um, honestly, I've experienced a lot, I've done a lot. I've been through a lot good and bad and I just feel like what I've experienced is meant to inspire and teach other young ladies or men too because I have a lot of brothers so you know um, so really I truly think my purpose here is to explain a more wisdom filled way of experiencing life yo am I tripping or is this the dude is this the AMP dude is this him is that him is that him that look like him, bro. They got that same thickness to him, bro. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. My purpose here is to explain a more wisdom-filled way of experiencing life. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that, that's cool. <laughs> okay, name, age, and? Answer this question. Uh, my name is Leah, I'm 28 years old. Um, well, I'm currently at L&D RN, and I want to become a midwife, and I really want to serve the black community um, mm -hmm. because I see how they get treated in the healthcare system, and it's just not giving, mm -hmm. and I want to be the one that is giving, and that's mm -hmm. one of my purposes. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Sinceri. I'm 27. Mm -hmm. um, I think my life's purpose is to give off good energy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's like people that intentionally are put on this earth to drain you mm -hmm. that are just like vampires that suck the energy. And I just feel like I can transfer that to people. So they're always happy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Angel. I'm 23. Um, I'm currently in the military. Mm -hmm. So I feel like my purpose is what I'm doing right now to serve your country, you know. That's what's up. Um, I would like to be uh, OBYGN. Mm -hmm. like oh, all to, like, right. Deliver babies or work okay. with children. I love kids. Who the hell is children? Children? 
Cheer, cheer, and we're with cheer them. <laughs> to serve your country, you know. Um, I would like to be uh, OBYGN. Mm -hmm. I would like to help like deliver babies or work okay. with children. I love kids, you know. Help with kids that might be in a foster home or something like that. At risk. That's what's Just up. give them a place to stay or, you know, whatever I can to, like, help out in the community or whatever. Okay, that's beautiful. All right. All right, poet. Those are some good answers. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Though. So whose balloon are you popping based off of what you've heard? How many am I popping? Um, let's go ahead and have you pop one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm still trying to look up, see if he the AMP dude. I know, it's I hard. think he is. I mean, based off the the answer, because mm -hmm. I do really care about, um, like, for me, like, I, I make music, so mm -hmm. I want to genuinely, I want to change, like, the world and actually have an impact that can actually do something. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, there's, there's probably one I got to pop. <laughs> yeah, go for it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Does that fit? How do you do that? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. So you ended up popping this one because? I guess the answer and more likely because, I mean, I guess for being just spreading good energy is to be like a natural thing. And the one thing that I kind of do with my music, I really, I don't know, I want to be able to impact people past just the basics, you know? Yeah. You call it a basic? I respect that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now why did you have your balloon unpopped for Poet? He is very calming. Mm -hmm. And I'm big on energy. From the moment he walked in, like, I just felt calm. Mm -hmm. And I like to be at peace with people. And I feel like I could just, like, be under you all day. So. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Cuddle okay. All right, thank okay. you. Snuggle woggles. <laughs> okay, ladies, does any one of you have a question for him? Hmm. Um, just because you've mentioned music more than your other things mm -hmm. that you've mentioned, what kind of music do you make? Um, like well, what genre, what type of thing do you talk about? Mm, okay. you, ain't, you ain't out here talking about, you ain't future, you ain't on that futures. You feel me? They trying to figure it out. Um, I'm kind of like multifaceted, so I want to be able to do, well, right now I actually do R&B, hip hop, so like I try to get into conscious stuff as much as possible. Mm. I mostly share the way how I feel through my music. Spit something real quick. And the way that the world is, I like to be able to really spread awareness about the, how things are actually really going. Because nowadays, like, we talk about, like, different type of wars and different stuff that's going mm -hmm. on. Like, it's just another day, but it's right. as valuable as this moment right here. So I guess I like introspective emotional connections you know mm. i like that's what i like in some of my music okay yeah that's all i have just <laughs> you want to see where your head at anyone else anyone else all right so poet looks like they don't have any Yo, she seems so like sweet and like polite and like wholesome like and welcoming like you know what i'm saying you like on some shit like i can't wait to get home to to hug my girl or you know what i'm saying or to you know what I'm saying? A sniffer or some shit. Just lay up. She gets very like the voice, the softness, the interest, the questions. Like she she asked the, that was a great question just now. Like you know because he did she she she's paying attention. He did mention the music more than anything. Though what kind of music you on? Let me see what kind of vibe. Like what you what you spitting about? Like I, I'd have told I'd have told him. You know what I'm saying? Let me hear something real quick for real for real. Questions? What? Uh, yeah. You should have at least one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do you have any kids or uh, no. anything like that? Okay. I have no kids. No, no. kids. All right. So here go Arlette being messy. This was the me I ain't never seen you do no shit like this before, but this was messy. You knew previously. They asked about the jits. The dude asked about the jits, and three, four balloons got popped. Now you gonna ask him about the jits? Cause so you want him to be like, hold on, wait a minute. Do any of y'all have kids? She threw that alley oop for. The messiness. She so did. Hey, oh, we got a question right over here. Mm -hmm. So, what is does the jewelry that mm -hmm. you wear, like in your ear or mm -hmm. um, in your hair, mean anything? Or is does it your belt mean anything? Does all this ink on your hands mean anything? Do the ink on the inside of your palms mean anything? What you just got done getting fingerprinted? Why is your inside of your hands looking dusty like that? Did you just build a sandcastle? Was you doing out, outside push-ups on the pavement? 
Did you finish a CrossFit workout? Why? Wow. It just kind of like aesthetic. Um, no, I'm like a, I'm more of a like a spiritually in tune person. So like I like to express how my soul is through like my aesthetic as like who I am, you know? Okay, so what do you mean by spiritual? Like what is that? So like I care about having a personal connection with God. Okay. And I don't, uh, I like to pursue him personally instead of having to have outside influence. I was doing that when I was a younger kid, but I like to actually have like my personal in-depth like connection with them. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, she confused still. Yeah. She got another one. Give it, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay. I like the henna though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, and yeah. now what made you ask that question? Are you a religious person or are you also spiritual? I, I'm more, I guess, on the religious side, but mm -hmm. I understand you when you say that you, you know, you need to be kind of connected with God. Mm -hmm. Um. I guess, like, this is probably going to be a deal breaker because you just, like, associated, like, your jewelry, like, you know, with God. Bro, people wear a Jesus piece all the time. What are, you, what are we talking about right now? What are we talking about right now? How is that a deal breaker? That is the most, some of the most pickiest shit I've ever seen. I it's just my don't. Personal, it's my personal expression. So my personal expression, God made every person inside of his likeness. And so my personal expression and my spirituality, it I'm showing my spirit through who I am as a person. Why is that so why are you confused? You came up on here with the hennas because they look cute. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. I mean, at the end it. of the day, you can have I don't like go against any other person's religion. I fully support whatever you guys are doing. I just like to have a personal connection. Okay. Because I've I've been through a lot. <laughs> So you said, I'm sorry, hold up. So you said that was a deal breaker for you? I just, I just don't, I just don't understand it. I'm trying to like correlate, like. Just think about it. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Let me ponder on it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Ashley, you said you had a question. Um, I mean, only because a relationship with God is something that's important for me too. Mm -hmm. So now this is where you get a little bit more in depth because mm -hmm. there's God, but God is Everywhere. God to whoever. Mm -hmm. yeah, but like, it's do you, it's objective. is it? Jesus Christ, or Me? is it just, you know, the gods of this world? Um, I'm the type of person that I don't like to push upon a name or anything. If I don't know anything, and then at the same time, if I don't know the, like, I like to go into backgrounds. I like to learn about different backgrounds of mm -hmm. different religions. And the way that some of them are actually based upon i rather have a connection that's solely he will speak to me he will mm -hmm. show me how you know okay mm -hmm. i am going to have to pop okay i do respect that entirely no it's completely cool yeah. okay. so this is tough too um to each his own religious is very important but i don't i don't know all right you know what i'm saying it's a, it's the percentage is is going to be small you want a guy tall. You want him to dress like this. You want him to make, oh, he's making music. What kind of music? Is it conscious music? Is it doing this? He got to believe, he got to have the same religion that you have. Why you ain't found this man already in the church? You should have already found this man in the church house. You know, how y'all how you on a, a pop the balloon challenge? You know, you know, showcasing yourself. Like, I, I don't know. Is this Christian-like? It's standing up here. Like saying, hey, pick me or I'm trying to pick you and we're holding a balloon and I'm trying to find an actual connection on the Internet. Is that what the Lord wants for you? Is that is that what God sets you on earth to do? I don't know. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it ain't. But come on. Like, you know, even I don't know. I, I don't know the Bible like the back of my hand, but I feel like it's saying. They said something like, you know, don't be, it, it definitely said don't be judgmental, be welcoming, love on everybody, you know, give everybody a chance. You ain't even getting the benefit of the doubt. You ain't even, you're not even getting a walkthrough. You know, let me see where you're here at. Let me share with you my experience and the way that God, oh Jesus, has helped me in my walk with Christianity.
It don't even, they don't even got that mindset in them. It's just like judgmental. You're not this way right now, popping that shit. That's crazy work. As a Christian, that's crazy work. Yeah. All right. So why did we end up popping? Um, I think you're very calming. I kind of want you to put me to sleep because your voice is just <laughs> Let very me put soothing. You to bed. And I love that. I think mm-hmm. you're handsome. But um, I'm on my own journey mm-hmm. um, with God currently mm-hmm. and God only, nobody else. So the mm-hmm. fact that you kind of said otherwise what? What was mean? just not for me. What do you mean by that? Because you were more so like, um, I just kind of dip into different religions. Like I'm not dipping into no, anything. No, I learn about different religions. That's how I actually got to the place that I am right now. I learn about different religions, and I've taken on the actual like identity of trying to get to know him himself. That's it. Mm. No one else. I don't need to do all that uh, <laughs> dipping and diving into different things. Y'all about to be single forever, man. This shit, y'all cook, man. Saute, uh, broil, uh, stir fry, air fry, uh, pot pie, chicken fry, french fries. Yeah, this is a wrap, man. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, Curly you. fries. And why did we end up popping? <laughs> um, because, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. really big on God. Yeah. I'm really big on the Lord. I was raised up in a church. I sung mm-hmm. in a choir. I praised dance. Mm-hmm. So when you said that, that threw me off a little bit too. Everybody big on God. Everybody, everybody big on God. Like everybody ain't making no mistakes. Ain't nobody saying ain't nobody did nothing that people wouldn't judge me and be like, it's people at home. And and and, and, and I, I don't. I want. That's why I said be respectful in the comment section too, because all of y'all have people that are watching y'all, and all of these people have friends and families and went to school or high school or college with someone, and and these people really come on the video and be like, I know her. She got this going on. Da 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 da. I be deleting that shit when they be saying too much about y'all personal information for real, for real, because they be trying to. It's damn near on the borderline of doxing somebody, but. They be like, oh, she set up and said this, but she did this with such and such. She cheated on my homeboy. Like, it really be wild in the comments. That's why I'm like, yo, be respectful in the comments. Like, people be coming up out of here looking at y'all and be like, so all of this, everybody up here right now, this is not who y'all are. Y'all, everybody got ups and downs, but everybody can't say, sit up and act like they're the perfect Christian or the, or a saint. Like, and I feel like they're not saying they are, but they, they acting. Like, they're putting their nose up to him like, hmm. You didn't say Jesus with the God, so I must pop my balloon. Like, I respect it by all means. Mm-hmm. Everybody has their own, you know, who they serve. But mm-hmm. me personally, I serve one God. I serve one too. Trust Amen. Me. At, the end of, at the end of the day, oh, I don't... man, come on now. Now we're getting all Kirk Franklin. Now she's saying amen at the, as a period to a sentence. Like, I don't shame anybody. I don't have... This is nuts too. These. I, these... I like having those dogs is crazy right anything now. that anyone else believes hey. what i believe is there's a lot of different things that has happened within different type of religions and to have real respect to the true god i want to have that connection with him that's it she back there playing with her fingers in her nails she's so bored she ain't had a balloon for 20 minutes she's like why would they would they let me sit down uh, i guess all of a sudden she just started praying right then and there right there in the middle of it lord Show me a sign. And I know that I'm not gonna cap. For me to be put out off a of religion is crazy. crazy. <laughs> Listen, because that's a it's big. Cool that's, that's, you have I mean, to like, understand, I though. Understand, I know. I completely understand it, but it's the one thing is I show respect to other people's religions, and right. I actually show respect to the fact of you do whatever right. feels great to you. But at the end of the day. I have my connection with the higher power, so I understand what is really mm-hmm. going to me for you. Feel me? I understand that, and you're so sweet. Mm-hmm. Man, you so, he is calm. He's very calm. But I'm from I'm from Georgia, and nice, in the man. South, that's where I was raised up. Mm-hmm. So it's like religion is a big, big thing. Same. I get so, you. Like I, you know, I really I'm not perfect. I, no, no, no. Trust <laughs> me. I, I'm far from perfect as well, and I guess. I guess the one thing that I don't have, I guess, the, the type of words to be able to put upon against this situation mm-hmm. is just more of the fact that I respect and acknowledge and at the same time give the grace and respect to what people believe in. Yeah. I understand. What I'm saying is this. What you saying? Every person's perspective inside of how <laughs> I feel about how like I have with my connection with how you guys think this thing this whole thing became about christian really do 
Take your time. It's okay. No, I'm just saying, because, like, for me, it's it's really personal, because, like, I've went, I literally have, like, went through the dirt and mud, and my whole life has been up, down. I've, in, in a way, not to be too truthful or anything, mm-hmm. I've been homeless for, like, six years. Mm-hmm. Like, I've went through so much trials and tribulations, and the connections that I've made, I went through different churches. I went through mm-hmm. different type. Bro, they don't care. That's why I told y'all in the beginning, religious people are Christians. There are some of the most judgmental people to pop this off and strictly shut that down. It's it's crazy work. They don't know who this guy is. They just as soon as you say the wrong thing, pop. You can say fifteen right things, one wrong thing, pop. It outweighs. It's almost like some people they upload a picture to Instagram and in a comment section be compliments, 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 compliments. One person says one bad thing and that hurts them and sticks with them the most. All of the positivity that's in that comment section is erased because of one bad seed, one bad apple, one one little poo butt. Of religions to try to find out a way how to be able to come back and actually understand certain things. And the one thing is, I feel like God has had a time to be able to talk to me and tell me the one thing you should do is stop worrying about what, how you're getting to him is just speak to him in general. Right. Not them, not what, I mean, it's whatever you feel, but I- Hey man, get his ass off the, off the, I'll let wrap this up because his, oh, he ain't got no balloons left. You can talk this shit back in the back. Y'all can talk after the show. You have no one interested. Wrap it up. At the end of the day, it's like, I love, the connection that I have. He gave me the blessing to be able to be right here today. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I, about to take I us respect to church. every single person on this freaking panel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I respect you and the people that helped me to get onto this thing. Mm-hmm. I legitimately, mm-hmm. I will not tarnish anybody else's connection mm-hmm. or go against anything that you guys are going against. So that's why mm-hmm. I feel like at the end of the day, I mm-hmm. respect what you guys do. <laughs> all right, well, poet, that's all the balloons popped. So I'm so sorry we weren't able to find you a match today, but thank you so much for coming on. No, of course. Thank all you. right, ladies, let's give it up for him. All right, man. Started off so well. Started off so well. Damn, that boy went out sad, didn't he? All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Mm-hmm. All right, look at that line up. Let me see y'all feet hurting yet. Y'all almost out of that now. Stay strong. Stay strong. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you take this. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> What's your name? What the, why, you, why you came on picking like that? Watch this. Hello, welcome Whoa. in. I'll have Whoa. you take this. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> What's your name? Cedric. What was that? Cedric. Cedric, how old are you? I just turned 31. 31, okay. Yeah. And what do you do? I'm a sports agent and I work in sports media. Okay, all right. And now what do you look for in a woman? Um, just good qualities, um, like know, high value woman, pretty okay. much. Um, like long as she can clean, pretty much. Um, <laughs> everything else I can pretty okay. much manage. All right, cool. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> All right. If we can... <laughs> what the fuck is going on right now? Why are y'all looking like that? First off, that walk up look like that hip. Maybe that hip need oil change. Look at this walk up. <laughs> Okay. Much managed. All right, cool. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's go. Watch this walk, yo. Okay. Look at that look right there. Why you look? Why you looking at this? All right, cool. I got a free So we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see what's going why on. Why you look like look like this? <laughs> what is this, man? What is this? <laughs> what is this, man? Why are you looking at us like this? <laughs> She really popped her balloon on me. Yes, fam. She hit you with the pot of balloon. All right. If we can have your name, age, and Angel. why you ended up popping your balloon. Angel, 23. It's just... um. 23? Right, she look a little older than 23. The attraction. They look a little older than 23. You must got them them tattoos when you were 12 or some shit. Them, ta- them, 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 them kitchen. That's a kitchen tattoo right there. That's a kitchen and a white refrigerator tattoo right there. I'm letting you know that right now. I, I was just not attracted. I'm sorry. Respect. All. All right. And is there anything that in specific? Mm-mm. It's just overall, I just wasn't attracted. Okay. Respect. <laughs> All right. And now, is she your type? Uh, you, what you looking back at? He want to see that ass. 
He want to see that ass. What you mean what you looking back at? If, fellas, if you walk out and you got your muscles, she looking at your arms, she looking at your pecs, she looking at that back. You see, hey, let me see how that back look on him. If that back backing, she going to see what's up. He trying to see if you got something back there. Come on, man. Y'all acting crazy. We, we adults and we grown. I'm looking you up and down from front of Rudy to the Tweety, from the head to the toes. Might even look at the elbows. <laughs> Damn, you got pop for checking out the yams? That's tough. That's tough. Damn. What does that mean? What does that Damn. mean? I'm just saying, like, oh, sorry. Like, are you attracted to me? You are, huh? It seemed like you're. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna say she all right. She cool. She already popped the balloon. She getting a little cocky with it. She just was. <laughs> she just was the, the, the top ten Christian in the world. The last guy. She just was the top ten March Madness uh, semifinals Christian last round. Now it's, you attracted to me, huh? You just like that, huh? Huh? I'll say you. Know, you straight. You know what I'm saying? Everything cool. Besides them kitchen tattoos. You know what I'm saying? The tattoos came from the kitchen. You feel me? White refrigerator. You feel me? I just know everything else cool. No, you cool. Like, it's, uh, you ain't, like, you don't look bad. But, mm. like, so, she, it's a yes or no question. Are you attracted? Why, why are you pressing him about this shit? You already popped your balloon. No, you you cool. Like I, would, like, I would talk to you, but, like, I wouldn't take you, like, serious. I would knock right. it down. I would friends on YouTube. God damn, what's happening right here? Damn. So respect. We, respect. Right, respect. All right, player. <laughs> All right, let's go right over here. Damn, a if we can have job. your name, age, and why you ended up Damn. popping. Um, I'm Leah. I'm 28. Um, the fact that you kind of just told her that you'll talk to her, but you want to take her serious. Is What's wrong with that? That's honest. That's on y'all. Y'all got plenty dudes out there. Y'all let y'all would let take you on a date. <clears throat> Free food them. I'll let him take me on a date. I'll let him take me on a trip. But I don't see myself with him for the rest of my life. Like, I let him entertain me for he's a y'all didn't have placeholders. Like y'all has y'all have had guys that have had great D. He's he just got phenomenal D, girl, but he don't got his life together. Please don't act like y'all ain't had that before. What what what's the big deal? It's like it's kind of like your agenda is not very clear. And I want somebody who's clear about me. How did you get that? How did you get that? He said he could look at you and be like, this is a this is I see her as a wife or somebody I will wife up. That's that's how he could look at you. But how did you get that from him popping her balloon and feeling like, oh, this is somebody I could kick it with potentially, you know what I'm saying? Hook up with or something like that, but not take serious. I don't oh, well, I don't understand that. He's being honest. He's not saying he would do that. He's just saying like Oh, is this somebody? I don't know. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong on that one. Respect. <laughs> All right. And now, is she your type? Yeah. Okay. What makes her your type? She look good, bro. Just keep it moving. She look good. Thank she you. Keep nice. it moving. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Your name, age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? I'm Sakari. I'm 30. And um, yeah, it was just the you know you you look straight behind that that was the first thing and you was just like um <laughs> that was it that, that maybe he an ass man there's plenty of guys that be like yo if she don't got a butt on her i ain't for it or or if she don't got boobs on her i ain't for it or if she don't have the straightest teeth i ain't for it that could just be his thing women have their thing i like guys with a strong jawline i like guys with a clean, a clean cut nice haircut like women have popped a balloon because guys have came out and had a hat on and they felt like they was hiding something dudes take his hat off he'd be like oh oh you do have hair oh you do have a nice hairline you why did you have a hat on because it matched his outfit like y'all, the, the math don't really be mathing with some of the, the thought process. He wants to see if you got some yeah, you got a flat ass. He might be like, no, I'm I'm good on that. I'm good on that. Like that's fine. That's his preference. Like that's crazy. Man. I don't know. Maybe I'm tweaking. Am I tweaking? Was it? Yeah. Respect. Just that's respect. Too physical. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's respect. all. It, that's all y'all got to be based off right now. It's physical. Y'all get to see him walk out, walk up and down. Watch in the beginning of this. When he walks down to talk to the other women, they are checking him out. They're looking at his shoes. One girl like looks down like this. They checking him out. They're checking him out. Everybody's doing that. <laughs> they should have your ass do 360s. 
Come out, okay, you ain't pop your balloon. Can I get a quick 360? I want to see what you look like, your full head. I want to see what the back of that neck look like. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what your back look like. Some of y'all got bad skin on your back. You got, you know what I'm saying, pimple backs. I want to see if your skin clean on your back. Is you washing properly? You taking care of yourself? Shit, let me see what the back, let me see what you looking like. Let me see what them heels look like. You got an ashy heel on you? You got to go. Y'all get to see this man do all walking up and down, back pedal, come out, hold the mic, introduce himself. Come on, man. <laughs> all right, and now is she your type? Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Okay, so it makes her your type. I mean, she look good. Like <laughs> she look nice. That's all y'all have. Yeah, no nah, respect. No, nah, she look nice for real. Real talk. Yeah, Pure talk. It. <laughs> all right, so Cedric, we yes. do still have three unpopped balloons. Okay. Did you have a question to ask the ladies to help you narrow it down? Yeah, um, y'all got kids? Yes. All three of y'all? All three. All damn, three. boy. God damn. <laughs> step daddy. Do the step daddy. Do the step daddy. Here's y'all got. Okay, let's start right here. Yeah. yeah. All right, if let's we can have your it. name, age, and the answer let's to this question. Let's get into it. I'm Ashley, 29. I have two. You got two kids. 29, two kids. What you been doing? Two bit as if it's two different baby daddies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same baby daddy? Right. Same baby daddy? <laughs> Come on! You gotta ask, is it the same baby daddy? Arlette, why you ain't asking? You just got messy before. You put him out on Fresh Street with the last guy with the big home, big, big pun, little big pun. How many kids you got? All right, hold on, hold on. She, she, <laughs> you he said, how many kids you got? He pointed at it with the mic. Like she, I know you got about four, five. Name, Come on, let him do that. The answer to his question. My name is Sincere. I'm 27. I have one kid. Okay. Why yeah, are I'm you looking at my... I'm just, I'm, I'm looking. He's analyzing. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name, age, and the answer to his question. My name is Alexis. I'm 29, and I have two kids. 29, two kids. Y'all been out here raw dogging, man. 29, two kids. Y'all been out here letting these men of y'all sugar walls raw dogging. Cream to the pie. And that's not, we adults here. We know how kids got here. Look how she looking. Ooh, 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 ooh. She got a two piece. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You need to ask if it's the same baby daddy. Two kids, two different baby daddies, 29 and under. That's a lot you're dealing with, fam. That's a lot you're dealing with, fam. People coming in and out. This might be her weekend. This might be his weekend. He ain't helping paying for this. Can you pick a little, little John John from daycare for me? If you if you don't love my kids, you, you don't love me. Shit. You ready to be in matching pajamas with them jits on Christmas, huh? You ready? Look how she looking. Two kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? You already had that Brady Bunch? I don't even know if he got kids or not. Let's see what's up. Okay, okay and now Cedric, Let's are see. kids a deal breaker for you? No, I'm just, you know, I'm Trying just asking. Okay. Asking questions, you know <laughs> yeah. So do you have any kids? Yeah, I got one. He has one yeah, kid. I got one. Yeah. Why you ain't say that shit? <laughs> you know that big got that chin on him? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, one, though. No. I'm just asking a question, like, how many kids they got? That's all. <laughs> okay, all right. So do, all right, now, ladies, do you guys have a question for Cedric? Yeah. So we can go ahead and... Uh, just a simple question. You say you're in sports, right? So, yes. Okay, what kind of sport? Please tell me what kind of sport, Cedric. Basketball. Basketball. Okay, yeah, maybe. Mostly. Travel a lot? He don't look like he can do basketball. It's just how he walked in there, though. But, hey, <laughs> he gave a little pivot, no pun in... Uh, yes, I travel a lot. I do. Okay. Travel well. Is that concerning? <laughs> Should that be concerning? Like no. Traveling? That, okay. No. That's not a concern. What you mean by that? It's just very basic questions. Okay. That's all. <laughs> what all you right, mean? Ladies, any question from y'all? Yeah. Okay, let's go right down here. Where do you currently live? Uh, I live downtown. Phoenix. Phoenix? Yeah. Okay. Okay, local. Okay. So you asked that, I'm guessing, because of traveling? Yes. Mm -hmm. Our dog yeah, downtown, downtown with it, too. Yes. Okay. Hot right. rods. So I guess I'll go ahead and ask the ladies a question for you. All right. So, ladies, Come on, what I'll would you say pedal. is your best characteristic? Ooh, best characteristic? 
I don't know. Probably because I'm just really. Come on now. I'm really sweet. I I'm very open minded to a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean I take bull crap. It is what it is. But hold on now. She just said she's really sweet. I said that earlier. Now she's open minded to a lot of stuff. But they wasn't open minded to Buddy and God and and Jesus. Now they wasn't. You. I'm very open minded to stuff. Ma'am, do we need to rewind the tape? But I think just because I'm generally caring of people's thoughts and processes. Yeah. You ain't care about last buddy thoughts and process. My charisma. Mm. I feel like people gravitate towards me naturally. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'd have to say my empathy. Mm. I've been through a lot, so I'm very understanding. Hey, hey! A lot of people say they've been through a lot, man. I hope y'all got getting therapy or some or talking to somebody because I'm I'm not no therapist. I, I came here for a fresh start. I climb, I'm I'm coming healed and, and ready to love, and I need you to do the same. You feel me? I've been through a lot. I got two kids, and and all that. That sounds like that sounds like, who? You starting this game on expert difficulty level? All right, Cedric. So based off those those responses that we got, Weddy. I'm going to go ahead and have you pop Big one said. of the ladies' balloons. If I can see your toothpick. Come on, Sid. Thank you. I'm going to hand that over to you. You said pop. Yeah. So you're going to go ahead and pop one of the ladies' balloons based off of the answers that you've heard so far. So which one out of the three are you feeling the Say, are you, are you slow? Why you keep looking around like you like you don't know what she's saying? And what kind of earring is it? Was that a racer tip? Least. Say, don't don't mess this up, bro. Pop one of the balloons, bro. <laughs> Pop one of the balloons. Anytime you're ready. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to choose wisely. Okay, yeah, they're good options. I don't blame you. Come on, Sid. Or if you have. No, actually, I'm gonna make you pop. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't give me no question. Don't give me no question. Don't give him a cop out. Don't give him a cop out. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Pop a balloon, fam. It was at this moment he knew. <laughs> Come on, Cedric. <laughs> all right. I'm going to pop her. She got the two pieces. All right. So why'd you end up popping hers? Nah, she look good. It just, you know. I'm good. <laughs> what the? Damn. <laughs> now she popping. So. Yeah. She did. Oh, oh, bro, what is we pop. doing right now, but, bro? Respect. But she look good, you know. It's just out of the too. It's a dud, bro. It's a dud. When this, when you get this deep in the game, they cannot just randomly pop off of that. Why'd you pop? He popped. He he he, he chooses them to pops another girl balloon balloon and was like, "Well, she looked good," but he still popped it. So that's letting you know he's not shallow. Looks ain't the only thing that matter. And then they pop off. So pop pops so another. He ain't got nobody. Come on, fam. More of your, more of your type. More of my type. Exactly. <laughs> if, if that makes sense. You know? <laughs> well, they out of there, All right. So. Why do we end up popping? I don't feel like he can carry a conversation. It's always respect. She looks good. Please mm -hmm. give me more. I want to talk to you and get to know you as a person. Okay. Respect. And I feel like you're a little <laughs> bit shallow. Just he just a little did bit. this shit again. You won't stop staring at my boobs for one. I ain't even staring at your boobs. I'm staring at your face. I'm looking okay, at you. Okay, but I've seen you go like this a couple of times. More than I once, mean, more I'm than once, more than once. Okay. Man, come on, man. God damn, bro. <sighs> What's happening right now, man? What's happening right now, man? That's a little man. shallow for me, sweetie. He's shy. He's looking at them dusty ass shades. These shades are beyond. Duh, look at these fingerprints on these shades. I wish I could zoom in. These shades are a catastrophe. This is not it. I would be looking at these shades like, she wore those? Why? Why you got them on like they part of the outfit? You on a dating show and you decided to take a pair of shades and hook them in your titties. If that's not crazy, I don't know what is. You got a chest tattoo. But that shit say Cooper? Hanging with Mr. Cooper? I'm throw I'm 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 throw. Respect. <laughs> I, you know, I ain't got no choice but to respect it. Respect. Okay. You know? crazy. Thank you. Okay. All right, Ashley, why did we end up popping? Um, I ended up popping 
One, like the responses, I did want to hear a little bit more to kind of get my brain going and what to kind of feed off of, but it just wasn't anything for me to kind of gravitate to, so that's why. You should have been popped in. Oh, all right, Cedric, that's all the balloons popped. No. <laughs> Thank you so much hey, for coming boy. on. Thank all you. right, ladies, let's give it up for him. I'll take that. Hey. hey. <laughs> Respect. Oh, they joking and shit. They clapped that nigga out. <laughs> hey, that boy named Respect. Somebody find Respect on Instagram, man. Send him the video. No. Watch how <laughs> Thank they you clap so much for coming on. Thank all you. right, ladies, let's give it up for him. Respect. Take that. Respect. <laughs> Respect. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> they got jokes. Y'all single ass. Y'all single old ass got jokes. <laughs> Respect. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. That's <laughs> funny though. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, right on over here. Okay, all right. <laughs> Welcome in. What's your name? Brandon. I go by B. Be right. more handsome is my IG. Okay, uh, B. Hey yo, I know him. Brandon, what's up, boy? <laughs> yo, this is all of them. Those locks then grew. That boy got a beard. Yo, that's what's up, man. Okay, okay, let's get into it. Dude, how old are you? I'm 29. I just turned 29 a couple days ago. Respect. Okay. And feed. now what do you do? Um, <laughs> I'm a food aggregate. Um, I sell food to local restaurants and residents. Mm -hmm. I do a little bit of real estate. Um, I travel. And I invest. Okay. Shit, it's very simple. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And now what do you look for in a woman? Um, I definitely look at their toes. Mm-hmm. Um, I look for their vision. I look for their support system. What does that look like in real time? I also look at what are you looking for in a man? Are you looking for the superficial? Are you looking for the real? Are you looking for... So yeah, saying somebody should have got them right right here. Somebody should have got my dog right, put a little bit of Vaseline, put a little bit of chapstick up on you. Somebody should have got you right. Ain't no way they let you come around the corner like this. Hey, yo, one of the homies should have been like, oh, let me get you, you got some shit right here. Go like that. You know what I'm saying? They should have got you right. Or a check? Are you looking for... The husband, I mean, those things all matter. So, yeah, I want to hear what you got to say in real time. And then, of course, I can adjust or either conform. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so we did get a pop balloon. Let's go ahead and go on over there and see what's Which going on. Pop? Come on over here. Let's go see. <laughs> all right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Sincere. Open up, open up. And I just feel like we just wouldn't match as far as energy. I feel like you have a foot fetish a little bit. Bro, come on, bro. Your feet bad? I, I ain't going to give it no more um, TV time, bro. And that's okay. You know, my feet aren't going to be perfect, though. I do have, you know. Your feet is cute. You oh, good. thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah. I knew that. I knew that it was going to pan down. And that pinky toe is hanging off the cliff. It's it's on the cusp. It's on the cusp of touching the ground. Let me get out the way. Let me get let me get out the let me get out the way. The floor is lava. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them these shoes ain't showing evil, but these the these them Jesus three thousand. These the female Jesus. These the Marys. These the Mary twelves. Cause. What is these two straps gonna do? It's not supporting this, this back piece. It's not these 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 got miles on them now. These shoes were made for walking now. This ain't Texas. <laughs> Come on now. God. Of course, then you popped it because you thought your feet weren't bad. You good, baby? Well, you just only wanted to talk about feet. No, he didn't. He mentioned he mentioned ten things. She's cooked. She's done. She's done. She's finished, bro. She's insecure. She thinks somebody's standing at the bees. They staring at the shade. She thinks somebody's standing at them feet. Them feet, Flintstone feet. He being nice. Them feet. Is, man, them just look crash from right here. I don't know the dead. This is 1080p. I don't know if it's 60 frames. If 60 frames will make it look better, but from what I see, shit. Black for what? me. Yeah, oh, just a little bit. All right. Hey, all right. I now, think that if your shoes and your feet look good, then your, you know, your mindset can kind of correlate. My, hey, people say that all the time. Like, look, the, the, my, my, even my mom always told me, like, look, make sure your shoes clean. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the first thing they're going to look at or the last thing they look at. 
Just like with a woman, if you got your toes out, make sure your toes looking nice. That's the first thing a guy going to look at or the last thing he going to look at. I'm, he, you're going to get looked up and down. That's just what it is. So I respect it. I appreciate it. Who's Cooper? My dog. Okay. You Cooper. put your dog on the chest? Who you think you in DMX? You got an animal on your chest? You put him on your chest? Cooper? A dog? All dogs go to heaven? For all the dogs? It's a doggy dog world? Snoop, doggy dog? Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, fam. Well, shit. Maybe I need to arf. Maybe I need to <laughs> Yeah, maybe I need to arf a little bit. Shit, fuck with me. Well, yeah, I, I respect it. Appreciate you. Thank Bow. you. Yeah, he just dabbed me up, too. Yeah. All right, yeah, now. Yeah, I would dab you your up. Type? My dog. You got a chest tattoo of your dog on your chest. You, you, you the homie. I, I, I'm dabbing you up. I'm giving you chest bumps on the road. That's it, fam. A head nod, chest bumps, daps. That's what you're giving. Um, Just like that. I don't necessarily have a type. I okay. think I'm more into the mental and the mentality. So mm. the fact that you can express yourself, yeah. I fuck with it. I appreciate you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move along. Move right along. All right. So we do still have Crazy some work. unpopped balloons. Crazy work, bro. <laughs> Did you have a question to look, ask the ladies? Look at even, uh, even this. What is this? I want y'all at home to cross your arms. Cross your arms and hold your own hands like this and stand there. Do that. Just do that right there and stand there and look around and talk. That's that's not easy peasy. That's crazy. Go ahead and help you narrow it down. Um, as far as the ladies in real time, like um so, so my question is to your plan, as opposed to five years. If you could see yourself with a man in two years, what does that really look like? What do you want from him? What do okay. you see from him? He has two to five year plan. Y'all know I hate this question. My bad, mama. My phone got family in town, man. They all now. They, 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 this is shit. This shit jumping. This the video jumped today. I said drop today. I said I got to jump on the video. Let me try to get on the journey as early as possible. I got a house full of people, bro. It's, it's deed up over there. We got a little pool party going on. Y'all come through. If y'all in Florida, come through. Come through the pool party. Gonna throw some shit on the grill. Y'all come have fun. Hey, everybody welcome. All right. If not, uh, use your imagination. All right. Let's start right here. Your name, age, and the answer to his question. My name is Sakari. I'm 30, and in two years, like dating a man, I would expect some sort of um, mm -hmm. commitment because it's been two years. Um, so um, definitely, um, just seriousness, um, moving Genuine. toward marriage and growing families. And that sounds good. That's a good two-year plan. Et cetera, et cetera. That's a good two-year plan. I like that. How old are you? I'm 30. I like your style. You're serious too. You're genuine, very genuine. Oh, let's go to the next lady. Your name, age, and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29, and I would say two years regarding a relationship because I'm really big on building my brand and my business right now. I model and um, definitely someone that is okay with being a partner mm -hmm. individually mm -hmm. and with myself. So, if, hey. We're on this business run together. That's what it is. You know, also just having that relationship with God, too. So I also look for us to have that connection, have our... Everybody, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has their own journey. This whole cast is everybody is connected with God and connected, 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 connected. If you believe it, they popping, popping, popping. Why y'all ain't marry these, these baby daddies? Y'all might need to go back to the baby daddy. Go ahead, go back, go back home. Y'all might need to circle back around, go get that man, see if y'all can work this thing out. What y'all wouldn't need supposed to be out there hunting anyway if y'all believing in the Bible. And on top of hunting, y'all were raw dogging, <laughs> getting lost in the sauce like us should say. Come on now, come on. Keys and we can kind of separate from the rest of the world and just be with. Just ourselves. Oh, that's cute. That's so. what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I fuck with it. Okay. If we can have your name, age, and the answer to his question. My name is Leah. I'm 28, and within two years, I definitely want to be married. I kind of know what I want. Um, I know a man wants to knows if he wants to marry you within six months. To be honest, and I'm a firm believer on that. Nah, 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 um, nah, nah, nah. So I ain't do all my years, research yet. I gotta do my. I gotta do my. Uh, my research, I got, I got to see what, what, you, what you've been up to these last years. That six months, that background, I got to get that background check in. If we, we can get the background check done within six, we might be able to do a little something, something. Definitely, I'm looking for a proposal at least, um, and I'm, I'm pretty firm on it. Where you from? Cali. What part? I live in Victorville. 
Mm, you ever been in a gang? In a what? Gang. No. Oh, okay. Just had to ask. Victor really ain't sweet. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a good ass question. If you if you from the hood and you from the streets, let me let me hear. I, I, I want to know if you got siblings in the gang too. You feel know I me? Mean? And if you, if you do got siblings in the gang, I just want to personally say, I ain't mean no disrespect, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? If I say anything to offend you or the family, I ain't on that, bro. I use my hands for prayer and not brutality. I just want to put that out there. All right. If we can have your name, age, and the answer to this question. Angel23, can you repeat your question, please? Um, Angel special. It, it's, them, it's them kitchen tattoos, bro. How you don't remember the question? How you don't remember the question when two, three people just answered the question before you? It'd be different if, you, if, if he asked the question, talked a little bit, and you was the first one. What you been thinking about the last five minutes? As opposed to a five-year plan, I'm thinking about a two-year plan. What are you looking for? What do you see? And then as far as the man that you're looking to court or to have court you, what do you want out of him? What are you looking for? A serious relationship. What does um, serious mean? As, me in we're, as in we're building towards a marriage. I don't want to just be dating just to date. I want to build a foundation, a family. At 22, 23? Cap. We need a hey, Start doing the uplates a year from now, two years from now. Where, where are they now? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. How many kids you got? I don't have kids. How old are you? I'm 23. 23, two years, 25? She want to be married? Cap. Let's see. Let's see. Bring them back in two years. You want kids? Yes, I do. Okay. What's your name? Angel. Angel. Where are you from? Georgia. Okay. Yeah, no, I love it. I appreciate it. I can accept it for sure. All right. Let's do it. Okay, your name, age, and the answer to this question. My name's Alexis. I'm 29. And I would um, expect to be, say we started dating at this point, um, I'd expect at least an engagement, like, to be honest. When? At this point, year. meaning within if the we started two-year mark, you're saying within two mm -hmm. years, you expect to be engaged. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Y'all, she got the, she got a two piece too. Twenty nine with a two piece. Y'all might have to go back to y'all yes, baby daddy man. Two twenty nine two piece and two years. Man, I, I gotta see what these kids going to school. I gotta see how I'm fitting in as a stepdad. I gotta figure out what the the actual dad. What part he taking is we getting along? Is we respectful? Is he trying to backslide in there? Is he being disrespectful? Like you know what I'm saying? I gotta we we got we got a co parent. We got I got a I got a co parent with I got a parent with co parents. Like you know what I'm saying? At the two years. You know what I mean? And then and he ain't even include himself. What he got going on? What he want to do? His goals and aspirations. Uh, it sound good. It sound good. But you know, I don't know. Hypothetically, and you guys all get a chance to think about this. In two years, within that two years, what do you hypothetically expect to bring to the table? To the table, not a table, but the. You got a man. He's decent. He making a little bread. He not. Down on his luck, mm -hmm. you're also meeting him in the middle. What do you expect to bring to the table within two years? If anything at all, and if it's nothing, then that's okay. Yes, mm. so I believe I am the table. Fuck. We're fucking cooked. Get on all fours. Come on, man. Oh, so. That, sorry, sweet, huh? Top of a balloon. Hey, there's nothing else that I can say. I appreciate you guys. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank Pop you. Top balloon, man. So you wanted to ask that question to the rest of the You're not the table, bro. You're not the table. You're not the table. Nobody's the table. The table is a table. You're your own person. That's such a cop out of easy answer. I am the table. All right, if you're at the table, that means we could just put everything on your back and on your shoulders and on your limbs. Are you strong enough for all that? No. The man at the table is the table. We bring stuff to the table to drop stuff off. This is what I'm bringing to the table. I'm bringing this, 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 this is on the table. Bow. Yeah, come on. Put something on the table for us. What you going to put on the table for us? I don't have anything to put on the table for us. I'm the table. I'm just collecting all the stuff. What? Why? Why not take that answer and be like, instead of the typical I am the table, man, listen, I, I bring a safe place. 
I bring someone you could trust, that's nurturing, that can love up on you, that cares about you, that can be there for you at the end of the day. When you had the, 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 the hardest day at work or the hardest day out there, I'm here to let you know that everything going to be okay, rub your back, tell you I love you. When you had the best day out there, I'm here to cheer you on and be in your, your corner and root for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? That that's what 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 can you bring? I can bring drive, determination, like I'm strong willed. You could have said so many things that don't even include money or materialistic shit. And you say I'm the table? That is so disappointing. It it is, guys. I don't and I don't care what no if y'all don't agree with that. That is so it's weak. Or uh, it's I mean, weekend wet. Uh, kind of a table for thought for folks to chew on if they have a response. Absolutely, let's take them. Yeah, because I'm not in this for response? nothing okay. else but the answers and the responsibility of it, which is who are you in real time? <laughs> so, um, everybody got to bring something to the table, right? So, I definitely thank you, Lord. There's hope. You sent us one with some sense right after. The foolishness and that's what we all needed that's uh, that put our mind and our hearts as viewers at ease can the church say amen amen put amen in the comments if you still here can only bring food maybe I bring you food make the table. to the table maybe no, you make the table i bring food to right? the table okay you cook okay Shit. Yeah. yeah no it's 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 deeper than cooking it's it's nutrition so I'm I'm big on Health? what I'm cooking and preparing for my family. That sounds great. Yeah. Love it. And I, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. How far? All right. So based off of those responses you heard, if I can have someone's toothpick. Yeah. I'm gonna pass this on over to you. Her oh, toothpick sure. got ink yeah. on. Yeah, so it's switched on over to you. Out of what you've heard so far, I'm gonna have you pop two balloons of the ones who you weren't really feeling all that much. Pop red. Get red out of the get red and blue out of the <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pop too. You gotta pop too. Oh <laughs> shit. You popped yours already, baby. So get red and blue out of there. I ain't never been in this position before. <laughs> Pause. Um, I know it's tough, No right? diddy, no diddy. <laughs> Let's do Go oh, get red God. and blue! This is not cool. <laughs> I, I gotta choose? You gotta choose. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Can I ask a question? No. No. All right, go question. for it. Go for it. Ask a question. <laughs> hey, y'all think I'm playing? What is cognitive dissonance? Cognitive dissonance. What does that mean to you? Cognitive okay. dissonance. What does that mean? Her to feet you? hurting. Boy, your feet killing you. Boy, you're on your last limb right here in the red. What is cognitive dissonance? Check, check this out. Cognitive dissonance. Look at this. What My does that mean to pinky you? Pinky toe. Cognitive okay. dissonance. Finish. What does that mean to you? Start right here. Um, is it like a disassociation with like a mental? Close enough. Go ahead. <laughs> Being fully aware of what's happening. Perfect. Go ahead. Game. Clueless. Don't cheat. <laughs> yeah. Don't cheat. Because she, yeah, I do this. Go ahead. I think it's a part of being mentally stable and also being mentally aware of where you're at and where people around you are at. And so in real time, if you're dealing with a man who's experiencing cognitive dissonance, what would you do to respond? Um, honestly, I feel like black men have it the worst when it comes to mental health. Um, so I'm very aware with... What would you do? The way Answer the question. I treat black man for that reason, so I would respond very therapeutic. I feel like. Okay. Good Based question. off my experience. Yep. You can answer too, even though you popped your balloon. If you yeah, want to. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, cause I'm shit. I need to figure it out. Shit. Go ahead. Open up to the camera. <laughs> you got the pop media, cause I didn't know what that meant. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Talking about she ready for marriage to do? That's that's twenty two, twenty three though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back, back. Her feet, her. She ready. She ready to go. My fault. Yes. Are you asking what the definition of cognitive is? I'm asking what does it mean to you? Because maybe you have, like, for instance, love. You might say one thing, I might say another. We don't agree. Right. So I'm not saying, say what I say. I'm saying what does it mean to you? Cognitive dissonance is when you um, say something and you act a completely different way. So when they're not aligned. Pop it. Okay. So pop it. One. I ain't pop that girl balloon, man. You got to get her out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got you one more to pop. pop. Uh, all pretty as hell. Don't yes. take me wrong for this. But I don't know y'all for shit. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck with that. I like her. Yeah. I fuck with her. She okay. Like, <laughs> if he ain't choosing me, no, hey, own. if he ain't choosing me, I don't want him. I can fuck with a chick like that. Let I can me, fuck with let that. Let me come over here. I can fuck with that. Why'd you end up popping? But I ain't never point to you, so I'm kind of like disappointed. Your outfit was cute as fuck, but go ahead. Hey, go you ahead. Just, okay. Go ahead. The whole, like, yeah. all that was Y'all just beautiful. too much. I don't know y'all for shit. Yeah, I don't know y'all for shit. Y'all pretty as hell. I'm just being real. Yeah, but you've asked the most questions, honestly, and I feel like you had a little bit. So they got mad at the other guy because he ain't had no type. The he just kept saying respect. The right guy before this, he didn't. No, no, the right. The guy before this kept saying respect. He wasn't saying nothing. And then the other guy, in the I think it was the second guy. He didn't have any questions for them. So the girl ended up popping. Was like, "This is your time to ask a question." He was like, "Oh, I wanted to ask." Oh, that was, I mean, that was the first guy. I was, I was going to ask a question on the date. So they popped that for that. You can't win out here. More of time to kind of figure it out. That's dope. I went last. Okay. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that was my situation. That's all. Yeah, I was really like liking you. Like your mm -hmm. look. The whole look is so dope. I like Thank the you. whole boho, like natural thing. Work super hard on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dope. But it, it was just, yeah, the... All the indecisiveness, yeah, yeah, super indecisive. That could do it. Yeah. I done turned a lot of people down based on that. All right, so then I guess I'll go ahead and ask these ladies. At least he knows that. Hmm, let's see here. Okay, I'll go ahead and ask them. So, ladies, what are some of the characteristics you look for in a partner? Mm. That's, mm. Nice. That's what I was going to ask if I had a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't do it. Come on. Um, definitely someone that is able to comprehend. I feel like listening is one thing, but understanding what's coming out of my mouth is another. Mm. Um, also just being open. I'm very artsy, very, if you are trying to find me, I'm either asleep or working on something. So definitely just having an understanding. Sometimes my space is just what it is and it's just to express myself. But All right, yeah. got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Um, I'm looking for somebody to lead me correctly. I've been led down so many different wrong paths with men, and I'm tired, just mm. like you're tired. Why you keep picking the wrong men? How you keep picking the wrong men that they got a bad GPS in their system? You know what I'm saying? They, they shit ain't updated. They still on the map quest vibes. Why you keep picking these guys? Where do you want to go? I want to be led to greatness like I want somebody that's gonna have multiple businesses and and me be a part of those businesses I don't want you to do it alone I want to be a part of it yeah. I want you to venture off into what I'm doing as well and be a part of that as well um, mm. you know I want to build a foundation like a very strong foundation that way mm -hmm. so when we're at the top and things go wrong we have that strong foundation to like build off of right, do you want right. to base it off of money or love love I have my own money Multiple businesses don't sound like love, but okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, it was a trick question. I was just, I just <laughs> want to see what she was thinking. I love it. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And now uh, the question was, what characteristics do you look for in a man? Uh, respectful, loving, and are you open? Open-minded or open-hearted or what do you look Both. for? Both. Yeah, All of it. Sure. Good stuff. For sure. Now, you ask for open-minded, mm -hmm. open-hearted, mm -hmm. random question. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to go to everybody, but it's very specific. Um, Come on. What does that look like for you and a person who might have a kid already? Yeah, I got a son. He's five years old. He's good, but he's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real. However, I'm teaching him to build and groom himself around people. Yeah. So how does that look for someone who doesn't have any kids? She got two. Oh, I have kids a new kid yeah uh again I, everybody yeah right. right uh i love kids i'm actually um i'm very nurturing i love being a mother i have two sons myself Age. six and two okay. six. whoa she just popped that up hey if they hey if they under five the baby daddy is still alive saying let me, why can somebody ask if it's the same baby daddy so for yourself, life insurance policy, you and your kids? Can somebody ask? I do not at this time. That's okay. tough. Okay. And would you have a reason for why not? Um, you, you, on the game, you on the game show now. Your head done now. Your head done. 
Life insurance is is the price the price of, of your cell phone bill. You can get a million dollar policy. I'm letting you know. Depending on where you live at, you can get a million dollar policy on your life for the price of monthly of your cell phone. Or, the, or if you got an iPhone, you got an iPhone, you can have life insurance. Real, you know, hey. I just haven't set it up yet. Yeah, set that up, man. Things, huh? mm-hmm. Shit happens. Okay. Um, based on what I've seen, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this balloon. Okay. All right. Let's move on over here. All right, ladies. She ain't there. got no life insurance. You got you got car insurance, don't you? <laughs> Shit. Uh, you how you gonna you go you got health and dental, but you ain't got no damn life. There are two of you left? <laughs> Shit. Uh, any final questions? Man, turn your ahead. ass around, man. Who you think you is, man? Keep flipping his head back like you were some great author. Or something. You think you James Baldwin or some damn body? Determine if this is going to be a yes for you. All right. Uh, what type of father are you? Are you very involved? Are you not so involved? Are you? Co- how? What kind of co-parent are you? Awesome question. Um, yeah, it is. I'm one of the fathers who will come on, like do the absolute most. And still get the absolute least from their yeah. partner. Oh shit! But still hang in there because I ain't got shit else. I ain't had no family growing up. I ain't necessarily had the things that I wanted to have growing up. So for my son, that, which is what I have, he's five years old. I feel like that's the only thing that I can give him besides a life insurance policy. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. A lot of people think about money. We think about this. I, I need to have enough money to bring kids in the world. I need to do this. But as a kid, and you know, growing up. Bro, we don't see money. We don't see any of that. Any of that. All you need is love and time. All that money. I, I have. I have a bunch of friends I went to private school with. They got all the money, all the money, and the parents just kept giving them money, but they ain't never get that love. And they got on drugs, or got on this, or got on this. They ain't turn out right. Never really excelled. They put them in this school that was ten, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars a year private school, and they ain't excel because they ain't really pouring to their kids. They, they they just kept throwing them money. They just felt like money, 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 money. First cars was luxury vehicles. It's all it is with kids. Or, or or a child is it's time and effort and want to like you know what I'm saying you want to you want to just love up on them pour into them be there it's gonna be okay it's gonna be all right hug them kiss them boo boos show them love all of that you know what I'm saying when they lose and they don't win it's okay remember this feeling we're gonna work even harder for next time you get that W you know it, it, it's all of that life lessons going through with them celebrating with them encouraging them a lot of people ain't grow up like that a lot of these grown ass adults never got hugs from parents. And that's and that's be the that be the, the, the damn biggest problem going on. For example, which is why I asked that question. Okay. That's my question. Okay. <clears throat> my question's for the children as well. I know that sounds like you're providing, which is great, but do you also instill in them like mentally, emotionally? It's cause I feel like raising boys is a little different. You guys mm-hmm. are a little bit more lenient. Yeah, so yeah. But it's important to know where their brain Yes. Yeah, um, it's funny because, man, I grew up, I sat with a dude who brought me out here to Arizona named Meech, Demetrius. We watched a movie called Mr. Fantastic. And it's mm-hmm. weird because that man taught his kids everything he could teach them in regards to outside of school and mm-hmm. the social structure that has everything to do with not what we're used to growing up with. And I took that and I ran with that. So when it comes to the kids, like no matter whether it's my kid or not. Mm -hmm. I'm installing the emotional structure, the stability, the concept, because me as a grown man, the fact that I could talk to a woman and not feel emotion, that's a problem, right? There's, there should be some connection there. And so if I could talk to a woman and we can gain some connection, I need to be able to show that to the next generation. And if I can, then that means we have some hope versus we figure out how to like bash each other and not make it work. So that's my concept on that. I feel like that answer like a two on one because that means you're emotionally intelligent for yourself. Okay. You have a whole lot of that. That's that's <laughs> like my regular, but that's not like in real time, right? Yeah. In real time, we care about like our bills being paid. We yeah, care about course, like our needs being met. You come before your children, or mm-hmm. if you have children, right? Have you children. come before them, and then the kids come. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of like how I try to teach the people to be when you're going to be around someone who's trying to lead and provide. Because there's no way I'm going to provide for the kids and not provide for you as a woman. That makes no sense at all. Okay. I like that. All right. It's time to make your final decision. Let's get it, baby. We got two ladies left. Who are we picking out of these two Wait, beautiful I pick? ladies? You do. You got to pick. <laughs> and they haven't, haven't. <laughs> you got to pick. You got two beautiful ladies here. Who are you going to pick? 
told my, hey, my hey, last decision. I'm hey, comment who y'all would go with right now off, based on this uh, in the comment section right now. Don't cheat. If you already seen it, don't don't put uh, put it down there. But I would go. Or even even if you did see it already, just comment who you would have went with. I would I would go with Gray, just from based on what's been happening and the energy and everything. I would go with Gray. I'm gonna go ahead and make is we're gonna pop this balloon. And then if you will have me, I'll take you on a date. All right, come on out here. Oh, I'll have you come here. All right, so is it going to be? And then if you will have me, I'll take you on a date. All right, come on out here. Oh, I'll have you come here. All right, so is it going to be a yes for you, for him? I thought she was about to walk through the wall right there. Is the wall a green screen or something? Damn. Him? Um, I have one question. Okay. Where do you currently reside? I have a house on the south side of Phoenix. I have an apartment on 16th and Bethany Home. Hold on, Bill. You're going too much with your info. I do a little bit of real estate, so I have a few places to stay. And me living in California is not a problem? For you. <sighs> no, I actually plan to do some work in California over the next year to two and a half years. I have a place in Cali that I could reside, so we could kick it whenever you wanted to, honestly. Mm. So, is that going to be a yes for you? She got, for him? Look like she got nice toes, too. I don't want y'all to the old T.P. and Doug got a foot fetish. He like toes. Yeah. You, know how, you know how Catwoman down there be. Is it a yes for you for her? Yes. Hey, hey. we got a match. Hey. All right, I'll go ahead and take that mic, and you guys can go on up. All right. <laughs> Let's give it up for them. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Appreciate y'all watching another video, man. Smash that like button. Click on some of the greatest on the screen. We got the podcast up there. We got the web series up there. We got more reaction videos up there. Everything you need is up there, man. Turn on, turn the notifications on so you do not miss a video. Appreciate y'all. Real Talk Pillow Talk Podcast, episode 49. We out. See y'all on the next one, man. Shout out to the Pop the Balloon Challenge. I, right, I'm out of here. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Now you want to turn around and show ass? Now you want to turn around and show the yams? Watch this. She do the spin now, look. Woo, 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 woo. That's crazy. And Catwoman, Catwoman looked at the yams. Now it's cool. Okay, we'll catch you next time. When Buddy looked at the yams, it was a problem. But now you spin it around. Look at Catwoman, look down. Watch Catwoman. Oh, now you showing yes, girl. What are you doing? Now you want to show ass, you're doing too much. 22, 23, boy, I tell you, boy. <laughs> we out of here. <laughs>